Hi everyone, this is Tracy with Paper Closet Designs and today's video is a Cricut Design Space video and I wanted to show you the difference between the score lines and the perforation lines. I've had a couple of people ask, so I'm going to put this little video together. So first off, we're going to go up to Upload and we're going to upload our images. And I'm just going to drag and drop. So here is my... Um, my files. I'm working on the pot of gold. And if you'll go into design space, you'll have two options. One with the preparation lines and one with the score lines. So we're going to start with the score lines. I'm just going to select it and drag it and drop it. And go ahead and upload it. Select it. Insert image. Okay, so here is my file with the score lines. And the score lines actually refer to these folding lines on the box. So what I want to do is I'm going to ungroup them. And there's my box. If you'll notice, if I come over to make it, and then come down to where my box is, there's no score lines. They actually show up on a black um, mat all by themselves. So we're going to cancel that and what you'll need to do is you're going to come over here to where it says um, the cauldron box with score lines and we're going to find the basic cut. Click on it. Come over here to operations, basic cut, do the drop down, select score, and now those lines actually look like perforation lines, but they are score lines. We're also going to come back over here and click that box so that the score lines and the image are selected, or you can click and drag across both of them. Then we'll come down to the bottom here where it says attach. This is on your layers side on the right hand side. Click attach. And now you'll notice that when you come over, to your preview mat. There is your box and it shows perforation lines but if you come over to the left hand side it says score and basic cut. So you will need a scoring stylus or the scoring wheel to score those. So that's how you do the score lines. If you don't want to do score lines, I'm going to um, select all of this and delete it. If you don't want to do the score lines and you want to cut it out with just one blade, you would use the perforations. So I'm going to come up to Upload Image and find my file again. So this time I'm doing the cauldron box with perforation lines. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Upload it. Select it. And there are my perforation lines. Now in some of the files these are going to be attached and in some of the files they are not. So you'll want to look over here and if you see where it says basic cut and your, your perforation lines and your box lines are not together, that means they need to be um, attached to each other. If they're one image without that basic cut line then they're already attached and it's different files are different ways and there's actually a reason why I do them that way but I'm not that's not this video so what I would do is I'm going to ungroup this I'm going to select this box and so it shows over here in the right hand side with the basic cut and the the box so your perforation lines in your box and we're going to attach it and now when I come up to make it there is my box with the perforation lines and it just says basic cut score is not selected and so now it's ready to cut with just your blade and it will cut out your box and then it will cut those perforation marks i hope that helps thanks for joining me today go ahead and hit subscribe down below and have a great day